welcome to my channel again. I have so long to create a video, but today I have something very special for you guys. I will start a new series where I will present in each episode organs on Fanatomy. By this way, I will try to highlight some basic stuff and some valuable, uh, important uh, anatomical marks and of course some functionality of those organs. I will try uh, to create like short videos so it will be flexible uh, for everyone to watch them and of course to understand and make things more simple and by this way we'll make like a revision uh, for our future anatomical exams. So let's start. So guys, today we'll present the topic of the lungs. The lungs are a pair of respiratory organs suited in a thoracic cavity. It is very important to clarify the thoracic cavity because we have like different cavities in our body. For example, as you can see here in the image, we have like a, a back side and the front side. Uh, the back side called dorsal side because dorsum in Latin means back. Uh, so we have like the cranial cavity and the uh, uh, spinal cavity. And in, in the ventral side, in the front side, we have like the thoracic cavity where it's separated from the abdominal uh, cavity, from the diaphragm muscle, and we have also the pelvic cavity, as you can see here, guys. So what is thoracic cavity? Thoracic cavity is like a hollow space surrounded by the rib cage and the uh, diaphragm muscle. The thoracic cavity contains organs and tissues. For example, I will give some examples about the respiratory system. We have like the lungs, as we will speak about it today, the bronchi, the trachea and the pleura. Uh, about cardiovascular, we have like uh, heart, of course, pericardium, lymphatics, great vessels, and of course, uh, some nervous system like phrenic nerve, vagus nerve. It's very important to clarify. And we have also the digestive system. We have like the esophagus. We have like the immune system. We have like thymus and about hormones. And uh, it's very important to know that uh, a thoracic cavity compri com is comprised from two pleural cavities, as uh, we spoke, and the so-called mediastinum, lungs uh, covered by pleura. Pleura are smooth membranes lining the thoracic cavity. A pleura comprised from two layers. The first layer, the inner layer, called visceral layer, covers the lungs. Uh, in the Latin, a viscera means the internal organs, so it's logical to translate it like that. And the other layer is the parietal layer that is in the peripheral wall of the pleural cavity. As you can see here in the image, we have like the lung, and then we have like the, the visceral pleura, then we have like the pleural cavity, it's like uh, a hollow space that is between the two layers of pleura, and then we have the parietal uh, pleura, and then we have like the intercostal muscle. A very uh, important info is that like parietal uh, layer uh, it has like a division, like different parts. We have like costal part, we have like diaphragmatic part and mediastinal part. And it's so logical to, to know the locality of these regions because from Latin we know that coste in Latin means ribs. Diaphragmatic means that it's near to the diaphragm and the mediastinal parts in the mediastinum. Also, we have like a very important anatomical mark here. It's about the pleural cupula. Cupula, uh, it's like a portion of parietal pleura again that rises into the neck over the summit of the lung. And about the pleural cavity, as I said, it contains like small capillaries and serous fluid. Uh, it is very important to know this uh, uh, that this serous fluid. It uh, helps reduce the friction and allow the gliding of lungs during respiration. And also we have to, uh, to mention about the recesses that uh, make here that uh, ensure the space uh, for the expansion of the lung. And there are two types of recesses, like we have the costodiaphragmatic and costomediastinal. Uh, right. And the right and left lung separated by mediastinum. And what is mediastinum? What is mediastinum? It's like a space in the middle of the thoracic cavity filled with a reticular fibrous tissue. 
We have like a division. We have like the superior mediastinum and the inferior mediastinum. As you can see here in the pictures, we have like borders of this mediastinum. We have like the superior or border that comprised from the superior thoracic aperture. It's like here. We have inferior border that it's comprised from the diaphragm. We have the lateral border here that it's comprised from the pleural cavities. We have the anterior border that it's comprised from the sternum and the posterior border that it's comprised from the vertebral column. Moreover, guys, about the lungs, we have like some basic and very important anatomical marks. Uh, so we will start from this picture here. We have like the base that it rests on the diaphragm. We have like the apex, as you can see here, it extends above the clavicle. We have the helum, it's very important where, because the primary bronchus and the pulmonary artery and veins enter and exit the lung from here. And we have also the root. It is also very important to mention that uh, the right lung has like two fissures that we have the horizontal and the oblique one. We have like three lobes here. We have the superior, inferior and middle, as you can see in the picture. In contrast to the right lung, we have like the left lung. We have like one fissure here only. We have like oblique one, as you can see in the picture, guys, it oblique, everything oblique in the right and left lung. The horizontal is in, in the line, it's horizontal, uh, it's very logical. And we have like in the left lung two lobes, we have the superior and the inferior. Also we have like some smaller anatomical marks in the left lung, the lingula, for example, a small uh, tongue, it's like a slip of pulmonary tissue. And we have also the cardiac nodes. It's basically a deflection of the anterior border of the, length, the left lung. It is very important because it's the space uh, for the heart. And uh, some uh, morphological differences between right and left lung, the right is shorter and uh, wider and heavier also, and the left lung is lighter, narrower and longer. As you can see here in the pictures, we can see the superior lobe, the middle lobe, the inferior lobe, also the fusers for the light, for the right lung. For the left lung, we have like the superior lobe, oblique fissure and inferior lobe. And now guys, we will speak about some basic anatomy and also functionality of the bronchi inside the lungs. I will start from the trachea. Trachea arises from the cricoid cartilage and is a continuation of the larynx. Uh, there is the beginning of the tracheobronchial tree. Tracheobronchial tree is a system of airways that passes air into the lungs. And regarding bronchi, uh, after the bifurcation of trachea, we have the right main bronchi that are wider and shorter and the left uh, main bronchi. Uh, those bronchi uh, make branches. We start from the main bronchi, another name is the primary bronchi, and then follows and, and it creates the so-called lumbar bronchi, are the secondary one and follows the segmental bronchi, that are the tertiary. Each secondary bronchi supplies a lung lobe. So we have like three right lumbar and two left. It is very important to show here the image of uh, the flow of air because it starts from the trachea, then goes to the right principal, right and left principal bronchus, then into the lobar, then into segmental terminal, and then we start from the asinus. Uh, it's the functional unit, as I said. Uh, we have like the respiratory bronchioles, we have alveolar ducts, alveolar sacs, and the small alveoli where diffusion takes place there. And uh, regarding the functionality of uh, these airways, we have the mucociliary escalator. And uh, mucociliary uh, means that it comprises from the mucus and cilia. And uh, mucus helps like to trap uh, foreign uh, bodies, foreign elements. 
and um, uh, cilia uh, are the cells that help uh, for to move in suboral direction the uh, foreign bodies and uh, contributes everything to the self-cleaning mechanism of those airways in the respiratory system and uh, we have like some ply from the bronchial arteries the bronchial vein and the vagus nerve uh, for nerve so guys thank you that's all regarding the lungs and i'm sure you got all the basic points and info regarding this topic of anatomy in the next episodes guys i will try to uh, cover more organs and you will have the opportunity to build a very strong background for your exam and uh, of course you can ask me whatever you need in the comment section below and I will try to answer as soon as possible and uh, of course you will find my personal notes attached in the description menu I will try to upload them via Google Drive and make it available for everyone and please subscribe me guys for more material and videos and I wish you all the best for your future, for your life and your work. Bye bye guys.